Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Khaled Mohammed and welcome to our uh, first uh, online recitation class. Uh, in this uh, class, inshallah, in this video, we will talk about affiliate marketing. Let's get started. Many, these are the outlines that we will cover in this video. First of all, we will talk about the definition of affiliate marketing and the involved parties. Uh, we will define a traditional merchant and how uh, he or she interact with the uh, the community and the, the market itself. We will talk about converting the traditional way of viewing the, the merchant to an online version of it. And we will conclude with a summary. Well, first and foremost, what is the meaning of affiliate marketing? What is the definition of it? Affiliate marketing is the process of earning a commission uh, by promoting other people's or other companies' products. You find the product you like, you promote it to others, and earn a piece of the profit for each sale that you make. But what are the involved parties in such affiliate marketing? Mainly we have four parties. First of all, the merchant, sometimes also known as the creator, the seller, the brand, the retailer, or even the vendor. This is the party that creates the product. It can be a big company like Dyson who produces vacuum cleaners or it can be a single individual like Maria Coase who sells online courses to female entrepreneurs. Uh, the affiliate. Uh, this party is sometimes also known as the publisher. Uh, affiliates can also range from single individuals to entire companies. An affiliate promotes one or multiple affiliate products and tries to attract and convince potential customers uh, of the value uh, of the merchant's product so that they actually end up buying it. The consumer, the, the consumer or the consumers makes the affiliate system go round without sales. There aren't any commissions to hand out and no revenue to, to be shared. Uh, the network affiliate marketing guide needs to include networks because in many cases a network works as an intermediary between the affiliate and the merchant but when it comes down to the actual marketing there are two sides of any affiliate equation first the product creator and seller second the affiliate marketing itself Therefore, affiliate mar marketing can be seen as the process of spreading product creation and product marketing across different parties, where each party receives a share of the revenue according to their contribution. But how can you be involved with the market? First, you can become a merchant and have others promote your product, in exchange, of course, for giving them a commission from the sales that they make. Or you can become an affiliate marketer for one or several products that you'd like to promote and market them to the consumers in order to make money. While of course most people start by taking the affiliate route and it definitely is the easier path to take compared to the merchant, but building enough traffic to make a meaningful income just from affiliate sales isn't quick or easy. But first, let's see what are the main steps that you can take to become a merchant. Uh, first, coming up with a product idea, validating your idea. Third, creating the product. Fourth, and lastly, finding affiliate program partner. Well, first of all, coming up, the first step, coming up with a product idea. Sometimes people always say it's hard to come up with an idea. Well, actually, it's not. Ideas are easy. But if you think that your idea has to be super original and born out of the pure genius of your brain, well, that's hard. Uh, if you want to make money with an affiliate marketing business, you can't be romantically attached to your idea as well. But how to come up with a product idea? First, find a problem to solve or you could possibly improve products and services that are already out there uh, you could simply open Google and search for any current product and discover users reviews about it and many ways such 
those ways you could simply find with it uh, product ideas. So the second step in becoming a merchant is to validate your idea, to make sure that when your idea is manifested in a product, the users and customers will be willing to pay for this uh, product. Of course, validating your idea could be easily uh, done, uh, for example, via online surveys and questionnaires. But again, it's all about catching the real user. Saying they will spend money is not the same as actually spending it. So when people are interested in your product, give them, or an idea of course, give them a chance to buy. You can simply use PayPal and say you are going to build it if you get a certain amount of orders uh, once you cross your threshold and make sure that people actually want it you can start creating the product itself well and the third step to becoming a merchant is to to actually create the project uh, followed by the last step is to find affiliate program partners uh, for example, with tools like Gumroad or Digital Product Delivery, you can easily set up affiliate program partners and allow them to collect commissions. Uh, but maybe the toughest part is finding part partners who actually have an audience that is interested in what you have to sell. Well, maybe becoming a merchant doesn't fit you quite well. What, how about being an affiliate marketer online? Actually, this can be done in basically four easy steps. First and foremost, you need to re uh, preview products in your niche. Well, it's easier to get started as an affiliate because you are skipping the have an idea and creating an idea path of becoming a merchant. And actually reviewing products in your niche could be easily done by YouTube channel, blogs or even live streams on social uh, channels. Because you already use unlike plenty of products, all you have to do is uh, picking one of them and start uh, publicly talking about them. But a word for the wise, Rocky. Uh, if, you, if your reviews aren't genuinely helpful, people will sense immediately that you are just trying to make a buck quickly. Well, the second step in becoming an affiliate marketer is to build an email list with your prospects. What is meant by an email list in this context is that an email list is a collection of email addresses that a business can create by engaging with potential customers through lead generating campaigns. For example, when you ask to uh, ask your customers and your readers on your blog to subscribe uh, using their email and certain topic or to follow such topics on your blog, they need to subscribe with your Facebook account or your email account and so on and so forth. That's, uh, all, it's all about collecting uh, a list of emails uh, to address your potential, uh, potential customers in the future. Well, if you have a product that you want to showcase to your customers and potential viewers, what do you think is the best strategy? Writing a review? about it on your blog or seeing a live presentation of this product online in action actually i think the later is quite representative to your customers than a mere pictures and uh, text online on your blog uh, actually webinars are great to engage with your audience one-to-one -one, showing them the product that you are pr trying to promote uh, live and answer any questions that they might have in mind well uh, using webinars you can present the products features uh, show different use cases of the product uh, talk to them about the uh, benefits and drawbacks of these products uh, tell them about the history and of this product itself and help your audience get the most out of it and much more. The last seven hour guide to becoming an affiliate marketer online is to grow your business with pay per click advertising. 
only do this once you have a way of making back your money because conversions are all that matters here you can use pair click payment advertising to get people to sign up for your webinars grow your email lists or even making more sales and to sum things up we already covered uh, the meaning of affiliate marketing, the basic definition, and the involved parties in such marketing scheme. We already talked about becoming a merchant and the basic steps to becoming so. Uh, we covered as well how to become an affiliate marketer if becoming a merchant is doesn't suit you so well. If you have any questions or pointers, Feel free to post them below and I will respond as soon as possible. Thank you.